As the winter storms roll in, we generally have two choices. One, be miserable and unprepared, or two, prepare for the winter and enjoy it. Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering 10 tips to help keep you insulated from cold weather on and off the clock. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Did you know that cold temperatures actually kill more Americans each year than warm temperatures? Well, today we're gonna to talk about how to not only survive the cold, but thrive in the cold. Number one, tread carefully. According to the CDC, approximately 1 million Americans are injured annually as a result of falling on ice and snow. And about 17,000 of those injuries are fatal. Don't become a statistic. Wear shoes with good traction, be aware of the conditions, and if you can, help keep walkways clear. Every year, about 100,000 Americans are involved in a car accident that involves snow, ice, or slush. If you drive during bad weather, be aware of the conditions before you leave. If you have to travel during a storm, make sure your vehicle has good tires, a full tank of gas, blankets, your cell phone is charged, and someone knows when you should arrive. That way, if you do run into trouble, someone will know when you're missing. Every year, about 50,000 people in the U.S. visit the emergency room due to carbon monoxide poisoning, and at least 430 die. Carbon monoxide poisoning is the most common in the winter because it's produced by furnaces, heaters, some space heaters, vehicles, and generators. Remember to have a safe way for the exhaust to escape and replace the batteries in your carbon monoxide detectors every six months. Around 700 people per year in the U.S. are treated for frostbite. Frostbite is what happens when the skin and tissue literally freeze. Typically, this will affect the extremities like your fingers, toes, nose, ears, cheeks, or chin. If you think you may have frostbite, be sure to get to a warm place and give your body time to warm up slowly. Don't rub the injured area since that can cause damage and get help as soon as you can. Hypothermia kills about 700 people in the US annually. What happens is your body loses heat faster than heat is produced and you eventually run out of stored energy. Early signs are fatigue, loss of coordination, confusion, numbness in the fingers and toes, redness and itchy skin. If you feel these symptoms, get yourself to a warm, dry place and get help as soon as you can. What you wear is one of the biggest factors in preventing cold-related illnesses. My favorite advice on this one is to dress like an onion, meaning lots of thin layers that insulate you from any air gaps. Overlap each layer. Just be sure to avoid the dreaded, I can't put my arms down scenario. We don't want to cut off circulation. Be aware of your body's priorities. Your body prioritizes heat distribution. If your toes and fingers are freezing, it's because your body is preserving heat for your internal organs, so it reduces the blood flow to the extremities. That's why it's important that these areas get extra insulation from the cold. We all know moving is better than standing around and shivering, but you don't want to break a sweat. Remember, sweating is the body's process to cool itself. If that sweat has time to cool, it's going to result in damp clothes that make you feel colder. Work and move, but pace yourself. Trench foot, or immersion foot syndrome, is a serious condition that results from your feet being wet for too long. This condition was so prevalent in World War I, it's estimated it killed around 2,000 American soldiers. This condition causes blisters, blotchy skin, redness, numbness, itching, and pain when exposed to heat. It can even cause long-term tissue damage. To prevent issues, wear warm, waterproof boots and bring extra pairs of dry socks just in case. Alcohol is actually a factor in many cold illnesses. Alcohol intake is also one of the most easily preventable of factors associated with hypothermia. When we drink, the liver gives off heat as it metabolizes alcohol, so we feel warm. But in actuality, our core temperature is lowered. 
This results in two problems. One, people feel warmer than their core temperature actually indicates, and two, they make worse choices, like refusing a ride and walking home rather than taking a cab. Those are 10 tips for staying warm whether at work or at home this winter. I hope this video helps to give you some tips to get out and enjoy the winter. If it did, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.